Hi, everybody, and welcome back. First of all, let me acknowledge the traditional owners in the lands in which we meet and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. In today's lecture, we're going to explore the inspiring stories of a few individuals from Australia who've overcome significant challenges in their lives and gone on to work in the community sector and promote a positive impact in their communities. These individuals have demonstrated resilience, determination and a strong commitment to serving others. Their stories serve as an example to us of how personal adversity can be transformed into a driving force for creating change and helping others. Rosie Chen from the Empowering Refugee Women's Organisation is the first person that I want to talk about. Rosie's journey began when she and her family fled their home country due to political unrest. As a refugee in Australia, Rosie faced numerous challenges, including language barriers, cultural adjustment and limited access to resources. However, she was determined to make a difference and support other refugee women who were facing similar struggles. Rosie embarked on a journey of education. She obtained a degree in social work and community development. She recognised the need for creating specialised support for refugee women and founded the organisation Empower Women Refugees. Through this organisation, Rosie and her team provided language classes, trauma training, job training and social support networks to empower refugee women on their integration process. Rosie's work has, has positively impacted the lives of countless refugee women helping them rebuild their lives and becoming active members of Australian society. I also want to talk about Jack Thompson, who's a mental health advocate. Jack Thompson's life took an unexpected turn when he experienced a severe mental health crisis in his early 20s. Overwhelmed by depression and anxiety, Jack found himself in a desperate situation However, with the support of his family and mental health professionals, he was able to overcome his challenges and regain control of his life. Motivated by this, Jack decided to dedicate his life to raising awareness about mental health and providing support for those struggling with similar issues. He became a certified mental health counsellor and established the organisation Mind Matters Australia. Through this organisation, Jack conducts workshops, provides counselling services and advocates for mental health awareness in schools, workplaces and communities. Jack's efforts have made a significant impact in breaking down the stigmas surrounding mental health and providing vital support to those in need. Olivia Scott is another remarkable young person. She's a youth mentor and Indigenous advocate. Olivia, an Indigenous Australian, faced numerous challenges growing up, including systematic discrimination and limited access to educational opportunities. Despite these obstacles, Olivia was determined to create change and empower Indigenous youth to become all that they can be and achieve their goals. Olivia pursued a degree in education and became a youth mentor in her community. She recognised the importance of providing Indigenous youth with positive role models and culturally appropriate support. Olivia founded the organisation Indigenous Youth Empowerment to, and did so to provide mentoring programs, cultural activities and educational support to Indigenous youth in remote communities. Olivia's work has a, had a profound impact on the lives of Indigenous youth, empowering them to embrace their cultural identity, to pursue education and to break the cycle of disadvantage. She has become a strong advocate for Indigenous rights and works towards improving access to quality education and creating equal opportunities for all. Rosie Batty is another inspiring example of a person in Australia who overcame immense challenges and went on to work within the community sector. Her story is one of resilience, of advocacy and a commitment to creating positive change. Rosie Batty's life took a tragic turn in 2014 when her 11-year-old son was brutally killed by his father during a cricket session. This devastating event sparked national attention and brought the issue of family violence to the forefront of public consciousness in Australia. 
Despite the immense grief and pain she experienced, Rosie Batty found the strength to speak out about her son's death and became a tireless advocate for victims of domestic violence. She used her platform to raise awareness, to challenge social attitudes and to push for systematic change and for better support for victims. Rosie Batty's courageous advocacy and determination led to her appointment as the 2015 Australian of the Year and through this position she amplified her message and became a prominent voice in the fight against family violence. She worked closely with various organisations and government bodies to drive change and improve support systems for victims. Following her tenure as Australian of the Year, Rosie Batty continued her advocacy work. She focused on education and prevention programs. She established the Luke Batty Foundation, which was named after her son. The foundation aims to raise awareness about family violence and provide support to those affected. The foundation delivers training, workshops and resources for schools and workplaces and communities to promote understanding and prevention of domestic violence. Rosie Batty's efforts have had a profound impact on the community sector in Australia. She has helped shatter the silence surrounding family violence and has brought the issue to the forefront of the national conversation. Through her advocacy and rel relentless dedication, she has influenced policy change, created funding for support services and created a lasting legacy that continues to make a difference in the lives of those affected by family violence. Rosie Batty's story is testament to the power of resilience, determination and the ability to turn personal tragedy into a catalyst for positive change. Her work within the community sector has not only provided support and hope to countless individuals, but it has also inspired a nationwide movement toward addressing the issue of family violence in Australia. Rosie Batty's journey from her personal tragedy to becoming a beacon of hope and catalyst for change is undeniably inspirational to others who've experienced trauma. Her resilience and her strength and her unwavering commitment to making difference in the lives of others through her work in the community serves as a powerful example for transformational change. For individuals who've faced their own traumas and challenges, Rosie Batty's story offers hope and encouragement. It shows that despite the darkest of circumstances, it is possible to rise above adversity and to find purpose in helping others. Her journey exemplifies the transformational power of turning positive pain into a driving force for positive change. Rosie Batty's story resonates with survivors who might be grappling with their own healing process. It shows that healing is possible and that through resilience, individuals can tra transform their pain into a force of good. Her example inspires others to actually embrace their own resilience and to find purpose and to use their experiences to make a difference in the lives of others. Look, I want to thank you for completing your advanced certificate in resilience. This is a significant accomplishment and I appreciate your, your efforts. Resilience is a lifelong journey and I fully embrace the idea of continuous learning and personal growth. As we move forward, we need to stay committed to new opportunities to learning, whether it be through further courses, engaging in different perspectives or seeking knowledge from various life experience. Resilience is a dynamic concept. It involves, evolves with time and circumstances. And I understand the importance of staying adaptable to new insights and skills. I believe that learning is not limited to formal education, but actually extends beyond the everyday experience and interactions that we have with each other. Each day brings new challenges and opportunities for growth. And I hope that you like I, are committed to approaching each opportunity with a mindset of curiosity and willingness to learn. Thank you again. And again, congratulations. I really am very proud of your commitment to finishing this learning journey. I hope that we will see each other again in future. Thank you.